Chapter 16. Creating Sawdust Sawdust spawn is an essential component in mushroom cultivation, particularly for outdoor growing on logs or wood chips. It involves colonizing sawdust with mushroom mycelium, which can then be used to inoculate larger substrates. Key steps in creating sawdust spawn. 1. Choosing the right sawdust. Use hardwood sawdust as it provides the best nutrition for mushroom mycelium. Avoid sawdust from treated or painted wood as it can be toxic to the mycelium. 2. Preparing the sawdust. Mix sawdust with a supplement like bran or gypsum to enhance nutritional value. Adjust the moisture content by adding water until the sawdust is damp but not soggy. 3. Sterilizing the sawdust. Place the prepared sawdust in heat-resistant bags or containers. Sterilize the sawdust using a pressure cooker or autoclave to eliminate contaminants. This typically involves heating at high pressure for about one to two hours. 4. Inoculating the sawdust. Once the sterilized sawdust has cooled, inoculate it with grain spawn or a piece of mycelium. This should be done in a sterile environment to prevent contamination. 5. Incubation. Store the inoculated sawdust bags in a warm, dark place to allow the mycelium to colonize the substrate. This process can take several weeks, during which the mycelium will spread throughout the sawdust. 6. Shaking or mixing. Occasionally mix or shake the sawdust to distribute the mycelium evenly. This helps ensure uniform colonization and faster growth. 7. Monitoring for contamination. Regularly check the bags for signs of contamination such as mold or unusual colors. Remove any contaminated bags immediately to prevent the spread to other bags. 8. Using sawdust spawn. Fully colonized sawdust spawn can be used to inoculate outdoor substrates like logs, wood chips, or larger sawdust blocks. Sawdust spawn is particularly effective for growing mushrooms like shiitake, reishi, and oyster mushrooms. By following these steps, cultivators can create effective sawdust spawn, providing a robust medium for mushroom mycelium to thrive. This process ensures healthy, vigorous mycelium that can successfully inoculate various substrates for mushroom production.